guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. Today I'm going to show you guys the ROM that I'm currently running on my Galaxy Nexus. This is Dark AOSP. It's by a developer BB Crackman of My Droid World. And I've been running this on this phone for about a week now. Uh, so I'm going to give you guys a quick overview followed by an install guide. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump into this overview. So right off the bat here on the lock screen, you notice that you have five different targets here, a text message, a camera, audio, and talk, G-Talk, and unlock, of course. And you'll notice uh, there's several different things here that are themed. Uh, you've got your toggles there in the drop-down menu. Uh, you can change those as well. You can customize those any way you want. You'll also notice uh, the carrier text. I changed that to Droid Modder X. Let's try to get it focused in a little bit more. Droid Modder X. And you'll notice the battery percentage. Uh, so there's several different customizations in this ROM. And one thing that I will say is I haven't had... Uh, I haven't had any trouble with the speed or snappiness. This thing is very, very quick. It has lots of custom tweaks and optimizations for speed and performance. The battery life on this ROM has been pretty good. Uh, I will say that I've been able to get you know, 10 to 15 hours out of the battery. I am using an extended battery, so that could have something to do with it. Uh, but anyhow, we'll, drop, we'll jump into the uh, settings and the dark AOSP options. There's tons of options to choose from. Uh, you can update your ROM uh, directly from the ROM with this get latest ROM updates. Uh, you can do things uh, like clockwork things such as backup and recover ROMs. You can freeze and defrost apps. Uh, you can set your performance here. This would be your clock speed. Uh, go to maximum CPU speed and you can set it all the way up to 1350 megahertz. And you can also set your minimum CPU. Um, and if you wanted that to be blazing fast, of course, you'd run through your battery very quickly. Uh, but you could set that even as high as 1350 megahertz as well. Uh, there is a governor here, so you can change the way that the governor is set. That'll help you with... See, right now I have it set at performance, but I could actually uh, go to on demand here, and that would help me with my battery life if I went to on demand. Voltage control... You can go in there and change your voltage. That can also help you with your battery life. Uh, so you could undervolt it, obviously, if you wanted to save on battery. And um, let's see here. You can also wipe Dalvik cache. Battery customizations, there's a few here to choose from. If you go to battery image, I mean, there's several more than any other custom ROM on the Galaxy Nexus to date. I like this digital numbers, and that's what I have. It's nice and big, and I can read that, unlike some other things. Battery visibility, you can either enable or disable that. Another thing that this ROM has that a lot of the other ROMs do not have is a whole list of boot animations. So I'm currently running this Nexus animation. All you have to do to apply it is just click it. It will download and flash that. And then you can just reboot to see the new boot animation. Uh, you can change your carrier name to anything. And that will work on the pull down. See there? And also on the lock screen. Uh, power widgets. You can uh, change the power widgets. Those are these widgets up top here. You can... Customize those and put any of them there that you want. Soft key customizations. So there's a lot of soft key customizations here. You see that I have them blue, and I've also changed the speed on the glow uh, to very fast. So see, it's pretty much instant there. We'll go back to settings and find our spot there at the soft keys. That's where we were. And you can also go in there and change the color, which is neat. Change it to anything you like, and it will change. I mean, it's super easy, super simple, very, very customizable. Uh, you can change the styles. There are several styles there. Uh, I haven't really done those because I don't see a menu there. I, you know what? We'll just go ahead and try it. It's going to download it and then change it, and there we go. So I still have my menu, which is cool. That's what I was concerned about. So that's a kind of a minimalistic there, and I'll probably keep that. I really like that a lot. And that's something else that I haven't seen on any of the other ROMs. You can change your window animations for the speed of uh, your screens when they fly in and out. And uh, 
that is about it there for dark AOSP options. If you go to the home screen, you can change your launcher settings. It does have, a, they call it dark launcher here, but it's just a customized Trey Boucher launcher. Uh, you can change your animations, uh, transition effect animations, and there's several other, th other things that you can do, but we're not really gonna run through that. Uh, in fact, what we're gonna do is go ahead and reboot into recovery. And so you see you have like your power down options here. You can power off, reboot, in recovery, or bootloader. And also there were some toggle widgets there in the power down menu as well. Uh, so we'll go ahead and reboot into recovery and I'll show you guys how to flash this. If you flashed ROMs, then this should be pretty simple and self-explanatory for you. All you have to do here is wipe data cache and Dalvik cache and then install the ROM. Okay, so now we're here and uh, this apparently it comes with a touch clockwork which is cool because uh, I had the other touch clockwork from Kush installed before but now it looks like I have uh, their other version which has the arrows down here in the back and the inner so you just go to wipe data factory reset select that you'll go down to yes I'm gonna go to back because I already have it installed and then we'll go to wipe cache partition and go down to yes wipe cache I'm gonna go back and then we'll go to advanced and wipe Dalvik. Select that and I'm going to go back. I'm sorry. And then up to wipe Dalvik. Select that. And then, of course, we're going to go back. And then when that's all finished, you will go back and you will go to install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. Go down to your download folder. If you've downloaded that directly to your phone, it'll go to your SD card. It'll be found in the download folder there. And you're looking for Dark AOSP, the latest version, 3.0.3. You'll download that. And go to install Dark AOSP version 3.0.3. You'll install that. It takes about five minutes. Okay, so when you're finished, Installing that, uh, the G apps are totally integrated, uh, so you do not have to install the G apps. You can just reboot the system. Of course, once you reboot the system, you'll boot back up. It may take uh, anywhere from two to ten minutes to boot back up on the first boot up. Uh, the first boot up always takes the longest. But guys, that is Dark AOSP by developer BB Crackman. Guys, you can follow me. On Twitter at DroidModerX with an E9 of 3. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for all the latest news in Android, ROMs, mods, and hacks. Also, be sure to check out my website, DroidModerX.com, for all the latest news in all things Android. And uh, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one.